Everything I've said in this courtroom is the truth. Well, perhaps you were misled, like my client. Perhaps the person who should really be on trial here is the one who's been lying all along, whose lies instigated this entire chain of events. And that person is Samantha Brady. No one. Sorry. Objection. I move to have counsel's last remarks stricken from the record. Objection. Your Honor, counsel is badgering the witness. He's twisting her words, promoting faulty assumptions as gospel Ob truth. Objection. Objection overruled, sir. Strike counsel's last remarks from the record. We'll take a 10 minute recess while I consider the admissibility of the tape. Sammy, I am so sorry. It was not supposed to go like this. It's happening again, just like last time. <laughs> and it is all Carrie's fault. I am never forgiving her for this. I please told you leave guys me to alone. Take a walk. Could you get out of here, please? Sammy, I am so sorry. Alan Zor wouldn't let me speak. He wouldn't let me tell the jury anything. You said that the last time you were on the stand. You could have told the jury that I wasn't lying, whether the Allen's lawyer liked to hear it Sammy, or not. I did tell them that. I tried to protect you. Tell her, Austin. I... Gary, I want to talk to you I just don't you want you to this. pretend like you care anymore, all right? Sammy. Austin, you know I was just trying to help. Yes, I know, but Sammy doesn't see it that way. And in a way, I can understand how she feels, Carrie. Are you saying you agree with Sammy? You think I deliberately try to make her look bad? No, of course not. I know that you did your best. I know that you did it out of love for your sister. But you made promises that you can't keep, Carrie. Austin, what was I supposed to say? Don't get your hopes up because uh, the system stinks and Alan will probably get off? No, I just don't think that you should have been so positive that Alan is going to get convicted. Well, I am still convinced. And even if they don't let us play the tape, Pat Hamilton is going to put me back on the stand and I'm going to tell the story the way it really happened. Recess is almost over. If the judge doesn't let the jury hear the tape, then Alan is going to go free. And everyone is going to believe I lied about being raped, about the kidnapping, everything. We'd better get back inside. Austin, I have to believe we can do it. It's what's keeping me going. All rise. Regarding the tape recording submitted by the prosecution, after listening to the tape and having considered the motion from the defense, I have decided I'm not going to allow the tape into evidence. What? Can't you do something to change his mind? He has to let the jury hear the tape. There's nothing I can do now, Carrie. He's made his decision. Well, then the jury will hear what's on the tape when you put me on the stand. Your testimony is about all we have left, Carrie. Ms. Hamilton, are we ready to proceed? Yes, Your Honor. I'd like to call Carrie Brady to the stand. Fine. Remember, you are still under oath, Ms. Brady. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Brady, would you tell us in your own words exactly what happened in Alan Harris's apartment on the night in question? Mm -hmm. 